بسم اللہ الرحمن رحیم اینڈ السلام علیکم ایوری ون اینڈ ویلکم بیک ٹو آر کارپوریٹ گورننس ماڈیول لیڈیز اینڈ جنرمن ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ اے کے اسٹڈی اینڈ اے کے اسٹڈی آف این آرگنائزیشن ناؤ دی آرگنائزیشن از کالڈ رسک آر آئی زیڈ کیو اینڈ رسک بیسکلی کمز فرام دی اردو ورڈ آف لائیولی ہڈ اور آف فوڈ اینڈ اٹ ہیز ڈیفرنٹ different connotations and different interpretations. Now, this organization is an organization which currently uh, has achieved accolades and great praise from around the world. The Queen of England has uh, personally praised this organization and awarded it with the Commonwealth Light Award. Uh, different countries' presidents, ambassadors, foreign ministers, dignitaries uh, have been talking about what RISC has been doing. The Prime Minister of Pakistan has appreciated the work of RISC. Various dignitaries in Pakistan have been appreciating how RISC has been able to create uh, a catalytic approach towards solving hunger. And they have one slogan, a hunger-free Pakistan. Now, ladies and gentlemen, an organization which has now reached out into the different pinnacles uh, of the global edifice and to nearly most of the cities in Pakistan. Is this a 100-year-old organization? Is this a 50-year-old organization? No, it's hardly a five-year-old organization. It came into existence in 2016 when three young friends in the Lahore University of Management Sciences got together and thought that we have this problem that so many people go to sleep without food. There is so much of hunger. And as a paradox, there's so much of wastage of food also. Why not work on this dilemma, try to control wastage, and try to get food to those people who need it the most, and move towards a hunger-free Pakistan. So these friends who were students in LUMS, Uzaifa Ahmed, Musa, and Qasim. They got together. They got together and they made a resolve that let's make an organization which can do good for humanity at large and battle hunger at all levels and control wastage at all levels. So at that time, they got together and they started collecting the waste food from different restaurants and then take it to the poor communities and distribute that food. A small endeavor. As time passed by, they came up with a very good idea. And I still remember, because I've always been a fan of the Pepsi Dining Center. I love eating over there because that's where I basically teach. And one day while I was at the counter and I ordered my food and made my payment. So five rupees was left. And that means a five rupee coin, which is very cumbersome to keep. So the cashier said that, sir, why don't you risk it? I said, what? What is risk it? He said that, why don't you donate this five rupees, which can be utilized to buy food and rations for the poor? A wonderful idea. So anyone having five or one or two rupees getting saved from their purchase, they were encouraged to just risk it. So they were able to create a channel of investment. And then from another dimension, they were inspired by the mother of Uzefa, who since many decades, with a very humble approach, was cooking food and distributing it every day from the gate of their house to all the poor people around in their community. So she was doing that just as a mother and as a responsible citizen. So this is what these three started doing. Collecting the waste, channelizing it to the needy communities, getting funds, utilizing them for buying ration, 
and food and basic needs for the poorest of the poor. They graduated. They had many options. They had many job offers. They could do many businesses, but they remained steadfast. They remained steadfast and committed to what they were doing. They were ridiculed. They were laughed at. They were joked at. People thought they were nuts. They had a wonderful degree under their belt. They had many opportunities. What are they doing? How can they make a hunger-free Pakistan? There are crores and millions and millions of poor, of the socially deprived. What can be done for these poor people? How can these three kids do anything? So they were discouraged, but they stood fast. They remained committed. They kept on working, day and night, going through the grind, going into the community, begging for other people, asking people not to waste and collecting their waste. Channelizing it, changing the lives of thousands of people. But still, their impact and their outreach was very small. They ventured out to their friends, but initially got very less support. And comes COVID, the world comes to a stop. Jobs are lost. People become confused. There are barriers and restrictions of movement. People need food. What should they do? Comes in risk. Risk mobilizes themselves. Go out to meet different large corporations. Get their excess food. Mobilize volunteers. Expand their team. Start creating distribution networks and food banks. And in the process, they became angels for thousands and thousands of families across Pakistan. They became an inspiration for thousands of volunteers across Pakistan. They started setting up food banks around Pakistan. And they started changing the lives of hundreds of thousands of people. Making it better, spreading smiles and making people understand that they don't have to waste things. They can channelize it for those who don't have it. And in the process, they have created one of the most well-known organizations now in Pakistan, which is being congratulated, accoladed, and praised across the world. Now they have many new ventures. They have a youth impact program whereby they're developing chapters around the world and especially in Pakistan, different universities, different institutions. And then another role model emerges, a very young role model, a girl who is in A-levels, Iman Malik. He's able to set up a new chapter of risk in the Lahore Grammar School Phase 5. She gets her friends together. She mobilizes hundreds of her friends together. And they start doing things which other people did not think of. They start generating resources. They start getting people together. They make people more responsible. They make kids more responsible. They start contributing. And they change thousands of lives. So there's a trickle-down effect. The board, the inspiration, the energy, and then the catalyzers. Just one of them, Iman Malik, has made a huge difference in her community, in her institution, in her friends and family, and has mobilized volunteers for the future who can contribute to the greater good of society, institution, and nation. All of these young individuals are heroes of Pakistan. Contributing, moving, and impacting.